y'all. My hair is looking fabulous. <laughs> I gotta wash this stuff tomorrow. I'm gonna wash my hair and my daughter's hair because the poof is incredible. I saw my picture when I turned this to go live and I should look at that more often because, mm, wow, look at the new growth. Not about an inch maybe, I think. I don't know because I just keep washing it because I don't have no time to sit and twist it, but I'm going to do it because I'm going to end up with those free-forming locks. Hi, y'all. Hi, Melita. Hey, Valerie. So, I can't remember my nickname that I had for Valerie. Why is my brain gone? I'm not going to say it on Facebook Live, but I just can't remember. I remember Tatanisha's. I don't, for some reason, I don't remember Valerie. So, you got to write it down. <laughs> but I know, I know your nickname. <laughs> I'm just going to write it down. <sighs> Anyways, so y'all, I'm about to open up some Valerian. I'm not happy about this. I'm over here with, with Shadow. We're trying to get these witch boxes together. God damn. It's like I'm a sucker for punishment. It's somewhere stuck. Valerian, y'all. God, this is horrible. Valerian <laughs> smells like a cross between vinegar and a crack of somebody's ass that has not washed in ages. Am I supposed to be measuring this on the on the scale? No, it don't come out like point. Does it come out I like point like two? Okay, so is this appropriate? Yeah. That's okay. So, anyways, y'all, Valerian is a bitch. Okay, it's a good bitch though. You ever have somebody in your life who smells toxic, but they really ain't. They really give you the shit that you need, but you really ain't trying to hear it. Exactly. That's Valerian. Valerian got a lot of good shit for you. It sure will keep some enemies away, but it also is really good in tea for rest. It will knock your ass out. You will sleep for hours. There's a lot of different things that Valerian is good for. Clearing, Clearing protection, body. keeping the law away, keeping unwanted visitors away. There's all kinds of good stuff that's in Valerian. But not everything that's good for you it tastes good to you or smells good to you. And this is one of y'all. Mm, okay. I double wrap those. I tape it. And you tape it and then you <laughs> double wrap it with what? You put it in put another bubble, bag? I put it in bubble wrap. Yeah, because this will funk up the whole goddamn yeah, witch box. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a necessity. It's a nasty needed necessity. So anyway. I've been off Facebook for, yeah, it's great for Kate as a sleep aid. Um, hello, Monique. Hello, Brandy. Hello, Laditra. Hello, Shauna. Hi, Yazzie. It's my sister. Yazzie's on. I'm bagging Valerian. I needed some moral support. But also, um, I wanted to come and talk to you all about, I just want to know what in the hell is going on in social media. And I, I really don't know if it's young people because I see some people my age that just don't have any good goddamn sense and one of the things that i'm noticing on facebook is that even if you tell people that you're really not entertaining their ideas they want to come into your space and tell you exactly how they feel well, let me tell you about something like that i don't know many of y'all may not know me and i'm gonna start sending this video to people that come on my wall talking some old bullshit now i don't give a fuck how lovely and warm and fuzzy Kwanzaa gives you the feels. I don't care. Okay? I was never a fan of Kwanzaa because I met the person who created Kwanzaa. And he really just didn't roll right with me from the very beginning. But I would, you know, be black, tell people happy Kwanzaa. I wasn't running out to Kwanzaa celebrations. But I'm, you know, I'm going to play with the home team until... Somebody gave me an article, and I did further research and found out this dude that created Milana Caranga, which is not his real name. I've seen him several times in life. His wife is a woman of color, but most people say she ain't black, that that Afro wig is a wig. I don't know about all that, but I do know this. I do know that the man who created Kwanzaa, thank God I'm doing Angelica now. The man who created Kwanzaa served time in prison for rape. And it is my understanding that while he was in there is when he started to formulate the ideas for this holiday. Now, if we're still sitting around here in a Me Too environment where people who have been scared to come clean. And what is it? That, is this enough Angelica in there? Yes. Uh, more? Yes. No, that's fine. Okay. What is it about not believing women when they say they have been attacked they have been raped they have been molested let me err on the side of motherfucking caution when a woman says that she has been raped 
okay and yes he served his time and all of that but i just can't see this person who, who and then there's been also commentary about how he used to be an informant against the black panthers um there's you know evidence of that as well and so anytime i got feeling some kind of way about a person i'm not going to stand behind what they do and the reality of the matter is if i did some shit that i wasn't supposed to do see now as black folks like if i got in trouble for some tax fraud or shit you all be like fuck it don't pay them no way you know if i slap somebody who was racist to me or possibly ran them down with my car maybe you'd be like oh motherfucker had it coming however if um you got on here one day and you found out i was a child abuser or a child molester or that I had hurt an innocent person, if I had even thrown magically at an innocent person, your opinion would change of me. You would not, probably, and I wouldn't want you to. You wouldn't support me. I wouldn't want you to. You wouldn't buy my products. I, 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 I wouldn't. But, you know, if I was that fucking corrupt, I probably wouldn't care. Okay? Right. You know, what is it? Two to three percent of rapes are reported and the rest of them just go unreported and so he went to whole ass jail for this and yes he went to jail in time when men went to court for things they didn't do but milana karunga has had the ways and the means to exonerate himself and clear his name i'm waiting i'm still waiting he won't even talk about it he don't even talk about it like in public speeches i've seen him speak several times in the 90s he was asked to but he was asked to speak on it and he chose not to Fuck that Negro. Okay? Fuck him. Okay? So that's that's my position. But it gets a little bit bigger than just, you know, my position on a rapist. Right? Crowley. He's crazy as fuck. Okay? You don't see me running around here supporting any of his shit. I bought that Tejote deck and I didn't know it was his. I just loved the artwork. But then I got it and the cards were cheap and cheesy as fuck. So, the reality of the matter is, if I do some really fucked up, inhumane shit, I'm never going to ask people to support me. Now, there may be people that would just stand by me like they love me, but my mama's dead, so I don't know who in the hell else would do that. I don't even know if my daddy would do that. You ain't right. You ain't shit. You gave me valerian and hops. Yeah. Hops? Yeah. <laughs> Bad. I thought you was my friend. <laughs> Go get them for me so I can keep talking. Because they just see my booty if I get up. Well, they right behind you. It's the same page. The hops are right behind Okay. Top shelf. Top shelf. Oh, yeah. I hate your soul. <laughs> that was some shit we need not offer in witch boxes. The funky stuff. Yeah. That funky stuff. Give it to me. Give me that stuff. That nasty funky stuff. Y'all ever smelled hops? Man, look. What do hops do? Because I've never used them because I can't deal. I have to look it up. You, you know what? Remember? You'll be putting all kind of shit in these boxes and you ain't looked it up. I have. I don't remember. Oh, it's got to be another one it's of those. Good stuff, though. It's good stuff. It makes beer. Yeah. Hey, you know. This is some. You know what? Hold on. You know. Okay. It smells good, doesn't it? That's the problem, though. They're not supposed to smell this good. Really? No, we're going to have to order some more. Okay. You know, when a when a when a herb or a root um as shade goes away, I mean it smells. You can smell it. Still smell it yeah. But we but really, really fresh hops are about as bad as Valerian. So they're still good. And they still have a magical purpose, but if it's funky, it's really supposed to be funky. But these are still good. So waste not, want not. And I just made a damn herb order. I just really don't want to order these. Can we not ever do this again? Because hops are not in my formulations at all. That's enough. That's enough. Yeah. Okay. So when we when we use this batch, because they're still good, they're very pretty, and they're still good. They're not gray or bad like what you may see at some spiritual stores. But once that's one of the things I want to talk to you guys about boxes, about the witch boxes. Some things may not always be in good supply. And I'm going to talk about one of those things today in just a minute, which I never, ever will put. And I, I used it um, in um, Sugar Daddy until I found out how hard it was to find. But 
Um, and that, that is um, Jezebel root, y'all. Because, um, but let's get, let, before we get to Jezebel root, as I'm just talking my ass off about hops, but yeah, we, we're going to discontinue these from the boxes and we need to find an immediate substitution. Because, I mean, they're still good, but they really, really, really need to be funky and there's some stuff that I just don't really like. And if if there is, a, now if there's no magical substitution, then we have to keep them. Sure, there's got to be something better than this. You know, not everything in root work is pretty, but damn. <laughs> green is tops. Yeah, I've never seen, I mean, these have green in them, but I've never seen like totally, totally green hops. No. Because if, oh God, I don't even want to think about that. I don't even want to think about green hops, okay? I just, I don't. Because I remember how these smelled, and these aren't, you know, these are fairly new. So, um,. One of the things is if you do magic with hops, buy them in small quantities and use them quickly, okay? Uh, they do stink, but these are not as bad as they were, which tells me that, you know, oh, God, they're, they're bad. In the, in the, he's got, God, <laughs> God, Jesus, ah, got me calling on gods I don't even believe in. Yeah, God, Jesus. <laughs> Woo! Uh, money work. I don't know. Like I said, I avoid them. There are certain things that I just avoid because I can. But let me tell you what I do love. You didn't even pass it to me. Where is it? The calendula. On the floor right there. Oh, thank you. I love calendula. Now, let me tell you something. Mary goes, oh, yeah. Because <laughs> you need to do that. We all need to do our hair. You should see. My hair was like sticking up like this in the middle when I first started. Because I really need to take the time to twist it. I'm going to wash it and twist it tomorrow. But this, I love calendula. Now, calendula is part of the Marigold family. And it's really good in court case spells. What are the other things for calendula? Uh, relaxing. Okay. Good in tea. Yeah, but there's got to be other. Where's the list? Give me the list. The list of the list that you made of every herb and roots that you put in these witch boxes. Because you went and got all this obscure <laughs> shit, and then you want me. I use I, I use calendula. Well, I'm going to get the list. I'm going to hold on, y'all. I'm going to go get the goddamn list. You ain't right. I don't even know where the list is. I was either online, that's what I do. I'm giving you a list. Can you grab it for me when it's done? Mm -hmm. Why, why, why? Okay, but let's see. While I'm standing here, yes, protect your legal matters. Comfort, strength, psychic powers, protection, comfort, all that good stuff is in Calendula, and I'm printing the goddamn list. Yeah, because I, I have certain, I have certain favorites. I ain't even gonna lie to you about the things I do root working with. I love Calendula, but I don't have it in a lot of things. But one of the things that doing these witch boxes has me doing is it does have me looking at other things. Um for the witch boxes but i just want to finish up on the whole kwanzaa thing because y'all know i got add and i skip around a lot and shit so the bottom line is this as far as kwanzaa is concerned or anybody i'm not i don't buy r kelly's music i be in the car and you know he be jamming and shit and you just be dancing before you even know it you be like, oh, ignition gets me every single fucking time. And then I realize, oh, no, I can't, I can't do this. I can't listen to this. I can't. So I'm taking some Kalinda Lahiera and I'm putting it in the top of the, um, the lid for the jar so I can put this stuff nicely in the bags. Um, working to get pictures up, new pictures of herbs and roots so I can sell them on our site, our local apothecary clothes. And I am trying to fill the gap, not just for Ohio witches, but all witches of color and not of color if you wish to buy from me. So I'm working on that. But in any case, calendula, court case, cases, protection and everything else. But Kwanzaa is a no. It always has been a no for me. Now and then recently I found out why. 
but that leads to a bigger thing you know you guys are my facebook friends and i'm gonna start sending people these videos um like when people send me the fake news i send the fake news video and everything like that but i'm gonna tell you right now okay that um if you disagree with me that is your prerogative as an american citizen you can disagree with me or anybody else you want to all motherfucking day long that's your right what you don't have a right to do is to come in my space and and say something especially when i put up on my wall i ain't trying to hear that from none of y'all i no you know this is not up for discussion i'm an intelligent person if i need help or i want to ask a question okay i know how to do that yes court so yeah that's what i said kalinda is great uh protection legal matter psychic com comfort strength and prevent evil and um so this is just an all a good uh, uh herb for you for protection i love it but if if you were to ask me to spell smell marigolds fresh oh they smell horrible what what happened how much oil is on the floor how the hell does that happen I don't know. See? I'll get it. Yeah, please do. I don't know how the hell that happened. That's probably because somebody put the oil can back in the stand on the tilt on a gangster lean and got oil all on the goddamn floor. Like, we got stuff just to give away here. I swear for God, Bob and Cheese, I tell you. So, anyways, yeah. So, if you're on... Ooh, Kalindal is probably excellent for skin care. Um... I don't use anything here for skincare or for ingestion, but you know, as I expand my products and find out what I can legally sell and what my restrictions are, that's something that I may continue consider doing. But just letting y'all know, y'all in my space, this is my electronic living room. I promise you that I will not come on your walls with any bullshit. I mean, sometimes I don't give a fuck. I really don't. It has to be somebody I don't know or somebody I really don't like. And if they put some bullshit on their wall, I will cuss them out and then I will delete myself because I just can't stand stupidity. However, if we just regular casual ass Facebook friends, I'm not going to come on your wall and tell you anything about something that you've posted that I don't like. Because number one, I really don't give a fuck. I got better shit to do than to sit up and argue with your dumb ass all day long. Secondly... I got too much respect for that that's like walking in somebody's house and being like yo bitch i don't like the color you painted your walls you ain't got no motherfucking taste that's basically the same thing you walk it up in somebody's personal space trying to tell them what to do with them i don't come on facebook for even lively debate i don't like it because people don't know how to debate People don't know how to research. People don't have their fucking facts straight. And then at the end of the day, even maybe with all of that, you got some real fucked up questionable morals that makes me want to wonder why you're taking the position that you're taking. And, you know, just like all them folks that wanted to get rid of Obamacare until they found out it was the Affordable Care Act. Hey, Yasmin, um, I might need you to do another botanical run for me, girlfriend. Because one of my other friends, I think she's too busy to send me my Abre Camino. Now, this buckthorn bark is just falling out all on the table. I hate when that happens, but I clean this space just so it won't get confused with other herbs and roots. But this is buckthorn bark. Driving away enchantments. Uh, good luck generator in legal matters and drives away evil and bad vibrations. Let me tell you something. When somebody puts a love spell on your ass and you find yourself going to somebody's house and not knowing why because you really don't like that person, you might want to get you some buckthorn perk. <laughs> you might want to make some shit with some buckthorn. Oh, you're in, you're in, oh, you're not, you're not there. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't like it because a lot of the times they send it to you fresh and by the time they get it to you fresh, it's moldy. So, yeah, I, I'm going to have to get my black ass in the car and drive all the way to New York City. I've done that several times, and I don't like it. I don't like driving 12 hours. If I had, like, a friend in between New York City where I could stop, maybe, and do that. But, no, my friends all live, like, in Maryland and D.C., and so, shit, once you get there, you almost there. So, there you go. But, uh, Buckthorn Bark is excellent to remove enchantments away from you. 
you know somebody put something on you get you some buckthorn bark that's a nice thing if you all you got is a reversal or a black or a black and red candle and some buckthorn bark there you go so okay i did all those and i did those two nasties oh wait a minute one more buckthorn bark um but so seriously oh i would love to come to boston you know what oh camilla you got wrong i might come you know i'm gonna be in new york in um who was that july yeah who is that what is that july for the witch fest and i have to figure out some courses that i'm going to teach that are suitable for um diverse crowds because i'm not teaching hoodoo anymore unless i'm teaching people of color so i definitely think i want to teach a spell casting class i'm working on you know our black witch circle not everybody's in atr some people are just interested in witchcraft but uh, my, my religion is full of spell work, and I love it. I love voodoo. But um, my the witch circle, I asked them what they wanted to. Um, there you are, Monique. I was just talking about how I miss my Abre Camino, but she's so busy. <laughs> I'm like, am I going to have to drive to New New um, New York? Um, yeah, okay. All my New York peeps, I need to hear from you because I need some people to help me dry out some Abre Camino um uh new orleans i'm supposed to be at conjure new orleans this summer lewis hopefully june although i must be crazy i'm tied up in may i'll be teaching and vending at sacred waters how you doing you forgot about me you forgot about me monique are you gonna remember me i, I know i owe you something too so message me um uh, i'll be at sacred waters in may june i'm looking at new orleans so that's tennessee in may june new orleans july new york city um what else september dayton pagan pride or october whenever they have it and daughters of the moon so i yeah i can't do nothing else <laughs> no no not if i want to keep my sanity <laughs> right yeah um um, I have a local witch circle, the Ohio Black Witch Circle. If you're interested in that, instant message me. Um, Daughters of the Moon is the international coven that I belong to. Mama Omi created that. So you could look at for D-A-W-T-A-S, Daughters of the Moon. Um, that's an online witch circle that is very good. Yazi has that Who Do You Do? Um, Daisy has Witches Brew. There are a lot of online communities um, that are really good, that I follow, that I am a part of. And trust me, Melanated Magic, I believe that's um, one of them. Um, but I'm trying to think of. When I when I get in a group that's not, um, that's not really good, I come up out that mug right away because um, I can't even deal with the fuckery. Um, but there are lots of groups where people will give you solid information and really help you out in your practice. I want us to really get away from this whole thing about like witch wars and people throwing at each other and work to build a spiritual community where we all have mutual respect. That would be nice. And the organ, those, those groups that I mentioned really, uh, tend to do that and don't tolerate any fuckery. And then, um, Yasmin has a group for healers. That's really good that I'm a part of. I'm not a part of a lot of groups. Um, and I refuse to run one other than for my products because I can't. I Y'all have more patience than I do. But because I, I see some of them questions up in there and I'd be like, oh, boo-boo, no. In fact, I got a girl to start coming to the Ohio Witch Group because I saw some stuff she was posting in one of them groups. And I'm like, eh, we will get on that in just a minute. But, but seriously, if, if, if you please read my About Me, um, you don't have to like me. You don't have to buy anything from me. You don't have to listen to anything that I say. That's beautiful. Do you, boo. But please don't come in my space talking about we're going to agree to disagree when I said I don't want to hear none of your shit, none of y'all shit if you don't agree with me. I know how to answer the question. I don't even mind going back and forth about some stuff. But when I said I ain't interested, I ain't interested. Do you have any of those eyeglass thingies down here with you? No. Because it's like I put my hands on my glasses and did like that because I got like fingerprints. I, look at look at this shit. Oh, my God. That's horrible. Okay. I got to clean these with my shirt. Hopefully, this might work maybe somehow, some way. 
We got 50 million 11 eyeglass lights upstairs, and we ain't got nothing down <laughs> here. Good. Not a damn thing you down know there. I get to move and clean this stuff up. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, you yeah you cleaned up um, Amberzine's little gift I had for her. We got to get Katie table. and Amberzine. Okay, you just got to pass me that box. Am I done bagging? Yeah. That's Are you it. serious? Okay, pass me that because I got to pick out uh, something for Amberzine. She made me some soap, y'all, some love soap. Oh, it suds so nice. It's so good for your skin. And then she also gave me some ancestor incense, which I haven't used yet because I don't get a minute to myself. But I'm going to sit down and talk to my ancestors. Maybe tomorrow I'll just sit down and have a little chat and burn that incense and, and, and see what happens. So um, I got some real good folks in the magical community. Oh, Chani, I'm going to get your witch box that has been sent back now to me twice in the post office tomorrow. And I am anxiously awaiting uh, my dust to onyx deck. I cannot wait. So, um, I love being in the magical community because we'll send stuff to each other. So, wait a minute. So, all of the ones that don't have any wrappers on them are empty. Yes. Okay. Where are the ones with the wrappers? No. Go get them. Uh-uh. No. No. I told you not to take them down there. No, you didn't no, need to take them down. No, you told me to bring those no, back. No, so I did not. No, them. I did not. Why would I do that when we want to use the ones that are wrapped first? Why would I want empty ones upstairs? <laughs> they sit on top of each other. What's the problem? They don't take up any more room. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, I know you're not talking to me about clutter. Go get those. Go get those rooms. <laughs> Clutter. It's not clutter. It is clutter. These are see-through boxes that sit on top of each <laughs> other. There's no clutter here. Yeah, man. It's nasty. It looks nasty. I want y'all to take a really good look at this fucking table and talk to me. I want you to talk to me. Look at this. Look at this table, y'all. Hold on, hold on. I'm finna, I'm finna turn this around. Turn up there. Okay. Um. Yes. Oh, you got the machine, Monique? Cool. Look at this fucking table, y'all. She going to sit here and talk to me about junkie. And all I needed was my other box of herb. Of, 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 these are all empties. Because what we did was when we didn't sell, we made too much for the events that we went to. And so when we didn't sell them all, I'm like, put them back in the jars. Because they're going to be the first things that go out. Um, so that we're selling the freshest stuff possible. You don't want stuff to set up in a bin. But these are all, so we took all these out so that we, they would be empty and we could put fresh herbs in them. And she took all the ones that was already wrapped and ready to go and put them in the basement. You can get double shoestring from me. Um, I'm just trying to add things, but I will, um, I will, I can put it up without the picture, Camilla. If you need it right away, Devil Shoestring is excellent. We put it in our witch boxes. It says protection from enemies on that. But Devil Shoestring, and there are several different species that are used for Devil Shoestring depending on where you live. So ours is that, uh, I think it's called Black Haw. You also can get, um, uh, there's another one. It starts with a T. And it's thin, thinner, and it's light brown, and it's more stringy. But that's not the one I have. I have, I use the black haw. And what that is, is it's an urban root that is, uh, its magical properties is to tie up your opponents and your enemies so that they cannot mess with you. So you trip, you literally are tripping up your opponents and your enemies. So the ideal situation with these, Shadow, would that these would be on the bottom because they're empty. And then these will go on the top because we can sell them. I'm not running downstairs. I told you that. I'm not running downstairs every time I have to sell this stuff. So I'm getting some stuff out because I'm sending some care packages out to my psychic friends. And these are so awesome. Black Power. I don't know if y'all have bought our Black Power mixture. This is 23 herbs, roots, and then there's essential oils. I have Blessed Thistle. Yes. Witchery in progress. Exactly. Cluttered. I know you. Look at this table. Oh, I mean, I'll show y'all what I, what Shadow got me for Christmas. It's really fucking Wait, awesome. Let me pass it to you. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second. But anyways, black power, herbs and roots to keep the law away, to help you get loans, to help you be prosperous, to have peace in your home. We made a mix to clean for black people. So this is a mix to clean. All-purpose cleanser, enabler, and empower is black power. So 
so I'm, I'm, I'm getting a little, little set together for my friend, my magical friends. But look at what, okay, first of all, Shadow got mad at me because we were in the store the other day, and I wanted to buy this really cool box. It's right here somewhere for my playing cards. It's a Queen of Hearts. It was so nice. Somebody, I don't know, you said that afterwards <laughs> or something, because I, I, maybe, I, somebody might be buying you something for Christmas. Don't nobody buy me nothing for Christmas. I was like, girl, I'm gonna buy this box, leave me alone. But look at what I got for Christmas, y'all. Look at that. And inside, I can put several decks of playing cards. Isn't that lovely? Speaking of playing cards, shameless self-promotion. Playing card divination class is $150, runs six weeks, and is recorded. Starts January 2nd. Give me your monies. Playing card divination, open to all races and creeds. So that is not just a class for people of color. So, anyway, that's what Shadow gave me. You know, I asked her what she wanted for Christmas, and she said an apron. And I was like, Shadow, pick out the, the font you want, because I'm going to do it on the silhouette and whatever. And she was just like, um, she gave me a font. Why was it the font we use for the big list labels? I'm like, no, you getting something different. So now, are we done? Because we done. Are you done? Yeah. If we finish, is we done? So then you can go pick you out a font so I can make your apron for you. Okay, just put this stuff in the box and then. Hi, Tiffany. How are you? She said, bye, Shadow. <laughs> she said, bye. So this is fucking dope. And I'm going to, I have a wholesale um, agreement with the people who make these. So you know a bit is about to go on their website and find out how many of these we can buy. So these will be coming. I get inspired by products that I buy for myself as a witch and the things that my friends have. Now, I'm not happy with something that I bought that my friends have. And I'm gonna give it away because they're useful. Oh. They're just I don't like them. I got a gigantic um, set of tarot cards, which are about this big, and they're beautiful. The major arcana is incredible, and it's diverse too. Mm -hmm. But I don't like the way they went on the on the minor arcana. They just put up like if like it's two of wands, they just put up two wands. <laughs> this is a nine of swords. It's just. I'm sorry, those are powerful images for me. Mm -hmm. But that might be a really good deck for someone who's beginning. And um you're having a really good trip and safe travel. Good. Do you got grip sack? Alexandria? Alexandria, I need your help. You gotta come help me. I will give you magical goodies. But you gotta come help me because I don't know how to use my serger. I do know how to use my serger in principle, and I even know how to thread my serger, but I am doing something wrong because my threads are jacked. So I need some help, okay? So Alexandria, I mean, I don't even come pick you up. I'm for real. I will drive to Cincinnati or wherever you are in the greater Ohio area, and I will pick you up. <laughs> Please come here and help me. <laughs> so anyway, this is magnetic. Oh, this magnetic! This magnetic, yo! Ooh! <laughs> wow! That's incredible. So I will be will be uh, finding out what their minimums are, and I'll be getting these for. Uh, I don't know if it's my um, under thread or over thread, but Alexandria, inbox me. Let me know what weekends are good for you. If you need a ride, that's great. If you don't, I will give you gas money. Help me with this goddamn surgery. I got so desperate that I bought a sewing machine foot that's supposed to cut an overcast item. If this motherfucker works, oh, it's on my Donkey Kong. But some.